Okay, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises. Let me say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Halala Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And just want to do a quick lesson. I was watching, um, catching up on some videos and uh, all this thing that's going down about the uh, internet, uh, you know, uh, flights getting canceled or being held up. You know, I just believe that this is another test. And that's just my humble opinion for Esau to be able to cut the lights out, control the grid the right way, the way that they want to. All right. When they want things to go down the way they want it to go down. All right. Remember, we prophesize also, you know, that the Lord's going to bring forth Jacob's trouble. All right. And uh, these are just preludes or little test runs for that for that day. You know, so I'm going to play a little bit of this video. Uh, this dude here, JW. And let me wind it back a little bit. And listen into what he was saying. You know, which I watch him sometimes, but, you know, we just get news and filter it through the scriptures, uh, measuring the time diligently in itself. All right. I don't, you know, listen to every video he make. All right. And just certain things that happen in the current events. You know, just to get an understanding, a perspective, you know, not just from him, but many other different sources as well to see what's actually going on. You have to watch alternative news to get the real news. All right. Um, let me wind it back again. I want a little more. All right, I guess we can start here. So I'm going to play the video just a little bit. And then, of course, I'm going to grab a scripture and uh, Lord willing, I pray you edified, man. You know, we in these times where, all right, you know, the scriptures say um, they shall seek peace, but there shall be none. All right. And then sudden destruction come up upon them just because there's been a few months, weeks and everything's been golden, you know, going to work, being a slave, coming home, you know, having your routine, do your little workouts and everything seemed to be fine. Things are going to take take a turn once again and hopefully you know, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai officially activate Jacob's trouble and let this thing come crashing down. You know, this is what we look for, all right? Because we believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is the true and living power. We look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein established righteousness. This is a wicked ass society, man. So, yes, we're excited. And of course, we're going to cover news like this because it leads into prophecy, you know? We're crying out through these lessons and asking the Lord to speed up the times for the elect's sake. And hopefully we are part of those, those, those that elect. You know, who the fucks wants to stay in this wicked ass society? You know, this place is wicked, man. Esau is wicked. And you better understand that he has, he's basically sharpening a sword against, against you. All right. With his draconian laws, all these things that's going down, Trump getting shot. You know, or a graze, you want to say the, he bled, so he got shot. You know, whether it was a graze or whatever. You know, all these things is going to lead to, it's going to lead to uh, Jacob's trouble. And it's going to lead to them, you know, activating these draconian laws that they've been looking to pass in these bills for a very long time. And when these things are activated, there is no more, you know, Liberty and what you call it now, they will be taking away your your liberty. Okay, so let, without further ado, let's play the video. Windows host, Mac and Link's host are not impacted, and that's why our people in Russia are like laughing at us right now, because if you look in Russia, they didn't get impacted at all, and we got the data on all that stuff. We'll get into that. Here. And mind you, you know they always quick to blame other countries you know because we are in the times of rumors of wars which will turn into a third world war 
but they always blame any other countries. In all reality, it's just a test, you know, until the real big thing come, right? Just a second. Uh, going into the next part, though, you can look on screen right here. You see where it's affected multiple PCs. And if you have a PC and you got the blue screen, we're going to talk about how you can potentially fix that, too, in a troubleshoot option. So we're going to listen to what the CEO says, and then we're going to expose who's funding the company, because it always goes back to the funding, correct? It was a single content update that has managed to shut down air travel, credit card payment systems, banks, broadcasts, street lights, 911, emergency around the globe. Why is there not some kind of redundancy or some sort of... You heard that? Let me wind that back. So that's payment what this... systems, banks, broadcast. So that's what this uh, outage was. Right, all these things got shut down. That that's leading into what blackout, right? So just use your brain, man. It was a single content update that has managed to shut down air travel, credit card payment systems, banks, broadcast. Air travel, banks. Listen to this, man. Street lights, nine one one. It was a single content update that has managed to shut down air travel, credit card payment systems, banks, broadcasts, street lights, 911, whoa. emergency. Whoa, 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 911? 911? Meaning the computers that the police officers use were shut down? Hmm. The globe. Why is there not some kind of redundancy or some sort of back air travel, credit card payment systems, banks, broadcasts, street lights, 911, emergency around the globe? Why is there not some kind of redundancy or some sort of backup? How is it that one single software bug can have such a profound and immediate impact? And see, and that's why they want to hook everything up to the Internet of Things, everything used by this computer. So when they want to regulate it, they can regulate and shut the whole system down. Esau is reaching uh, levels of power that he, he wants to achieve. He wants to achieve these goals of control. All right. Because he already has power. He has money. That's nothing to him. But what he wants is control. 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 Control over everything that exists. Well, when you look at the complexity of cyber. Yeah, look at this dude's body language. The dude is freaking out. He just took a big gulp. And what he's going to say is, it'll just suffer update and this and that. Look at him drinking water and everything out there. The man is freaking out because he knows he's going to be exposed. And who's behind it? Well, when you look into a lot of events, most of the time, the funding goes down to the shadow government. And breaking news, can we ever just chill? That should be the breaking news. Can we ever just chill? Here it is right here. Why, why would they chill when that's your narrative? They control the narrative. All right. In my humble opinion, this was just another test. All right. And putting things all together. So when they do their big the big thing come, they got control of it. They can cut it on, they can cut it off. They can put, put certain parts on for certain people. They can cut certain parts off for certain people. It's all about control. So, of course, the, the news is going to spin it and tell you it was an update when our reality was something else more sinister. All right? That's why we don't need to live under technology. We need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Who owns CrowdStrike Holdings? None other in BlackRock holding about 16 point, 16 .13 million shares. And then you got Vanguard Group, two New World Order operators. But oh, we just, it's just a software update, everybody. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? It's all good while well, he freaking out, drinking water, and blinking a million times and stuff like that. Cause he know he, he's, he's pretty much in the big scenario. Here's what it looked like. Uh, at the Philadelphia airport. We want to show that too as well, people on the ground. And 
question is, uh, what are y'all experiencing right here? So what are you experiencing? Let us know in the comment section. Have you had ATM issues? Uh, do you have the Microsoft issue on your computer? So let's go into that real quick. This is what people are looking like. They're having this blue screen. You can quickly do this right now. You go into the see advanced repair options. You go to troubleshoot. Then after that, you go to advanced options, startup settings, and then you want to restart. And it's another screen that usually comes up. And what you do is you click six to enable safe mode with the command prompt, because that's what you're going to need to do. Basically, dang that re reboot your system. Now, the Windows is a problem. And obviously, Bill Gates and all that stuff, they were behind that company. Supposedly, he sold it out. Somebody says, we have the blue screen at work. So y'all need to do the situation. We just did this right here. Uh, somebody says, my wife works for state government and all clouds are currently down. Visionary Vet says. All right, you know, for the brothers and you few sisters that tune into the lesson, I don't know if this also may help, but um, you should, if you have a desktop, computer, laptop, the proper way to shut down your computer is to go to shut down and hold shift. You know, I've been doing this for some time now and it completely shuts down your computer because when you just hit shut down and you think you're turning the computer off, it's not really off, it's still on. So therefore, when stuff like this happens and you cut your computer on, you've been affected because your computer was on, you just thought it was off. So I gotta check mine, you know, to see if that's, you know, true. I know that it shuts the computer off, but hopefully uh, my computer wasn't affected. I'm not sure. I haven't cut it on yet. But what you can do for you brothers and sisters that if you didn't know, now you know. To shut down your computer the proper way, hold the shift key and hit shut down. But you have to hold it shift key down until the whole computer turns off to turn your computer off. All right. This is a big hit right here. So this is the story. Do you think that the CrowdStrike just updated a wrong endpoint update for Windows OS machines and brought down half of the world IT systems so that they can do some type of backdoor into the other systems? Deep State Back Cybersecurity Firm, which led global IT outages for Microsoft Windows OS based systems. And so if they updated the wrong endpoint, then we're really going to be screwed. But the thing is, we got to. Man, at this point, I don't believe anything is wrong. Everything is purposely done, but that's just my humble opinion. And we believe in the scriptures. We believe in the Lord. All right. Um, of course, yeah, things can go wrong because this is man-made machines. There's nothing perfect with these computers, you know, and Esau, this devil, start with the elites, right? The house of Esau, the international bankers, right? They want to take us into this system where everything of our existence, everything that around us, everything we deal with every, each and every day, our daily bread is all under the system of technology. That's a problem. Because if you got shit like this going on, let's say a man do make mistakes. Because men do. All right? Software fuck up. You got defaults. You know, ain't nothing perfect with these man-made computers. And technology itself. So, if something do go wrong, guess what? Your daily living is effective. This is stupid. This is why the wicked needs to be removed, man. All right? For the brothers and the few sisters that believe in, in the Lord, pray every day, man. All right. Pray every day. Pray every time you think about praying. Pray. Put your prayers up to the most high, man. To Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. Ask him to shorten these days for the elect's sake. Tell him to, to, to destroy the wicked, man. So let's read the scripture here real quick. Now, this is Psalms 10. And it says a prayer to overthrow the wicked. Always put these prayers up, man. To overthrow the wicked because they are the wicked. All right. Eventually, it's going to come a point in time where they're going to force you to take this micro C hip, all right, which is the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast, Revelations 13, 16, all right? So, Psalms 10 and 1, why standest thou far off, O Yahweh? Why hidest thyself in the times of trouble? The wicked in his pride do have persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasts of his heart desire, 
and blesses the covetants whom the Lord, whom Yahweh abhorreth, meaning who the Lord avoids. So the wicked in his pride, they persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they imagine, right? Because what they imagine against us is really stopping us from being a nation, which is Yasha Allah. All right. This is for the Israelites, the 12 tribes. All right. When you go to Psalms 83, matter of fact, I'm going to go there real quick and I'm going to come back to Psalms 10. Try to make it quick because they do want to, you know, stop us from being a nation under the under the most high. They don't want this connection that we have with the most high to exist. And yeah, it's deeper than um money. All right. This is more on the spiritual side of things. It starts with the spirit before the flesh. All right. And jokers, you know, they think they know something, but they really don't know nothing if you don't know the word. All right. It all comes from the scriptures, man. All right. It comes from the word of the most high. This is Psalms 83 and 1. It says, keep not thou silence, O Yahweh, hold not thou peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thou enemies make a tumult and they that have hated thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against our people and consulted against our hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel, which is Yasha Allah in the Hebrew, right? It says that the name of Israel, Yasha Allah, may be no more in remembrance. All right. They don't want us to be remembered of our heavenly father, but the Lord is calling us back. That's where he has a problem. He's not as wise as you think he is. He's not as smart as you think he is. Because the Heavenly Father is clearly calling us back by sending forth his prophets. There's a great awakening for the Israelites around the world. You'll be you'll be you blind as a bat if you can't see that. Or you just, you know, <laughs> you a vocab Malone. Vocab Malone can see that. AKA Haman. You know? That's why that devil, he wants to be a part of us. You can't build with us. You would never be a part of us. You have been rejected. All right. You have been rejected, vocab Malone. And, uh, and hey, and I pray you how about Shemya Shah make you a public example. You know, one of the biggest haters, man. You can't stop this. It says, for they have consulted together with one consent and they are confederate against thee because all these nations come together uh, starting with the head, the head nation, Edom, right? Because this earth was given into his hands, right? This is his kingdom. They all come together with one consent. And it says they are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom. So the Lord start calling shots. He start letting you know, calling names. So now we know who they are, right? And the and very first one is who? Edom. It says the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and Hagarines. Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philist it says, and the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Ashur also is joint with them. They have hopped in the children of Lot Shalot. All right. You know, they have their G summits, the uh, Bohemian Grove uh, gatherings, you know, the secret society. You know, they all come together with this, with this dom this, 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 uh, this decision to dominate and control the world and mainly to come against the Lord's chosen people. All right. You people going to realize that that what the Israelites starting with the prophets and I mean the true prophets of the Lord, what we talking about is going to come to pass and you're going to see it. And you're going to be shocked. You're going to be saying, damn, those guys, they was really telling the truth. They really mad it. They wasn't crazy. I thought those guys were crazy. I thought those guys were just bums. Keep ignoring us, you know? It's okay. Because the Lord is going to uh, show you, man. Matter of fact, I didn't want to make a long lesson. But since I said that, I would like to prove that point in the scriptures. Because where we getting this from? We getting it from the word of the Most High. The Lord already foretold us. He said, before things spring up, I tell you of them. All right? The prophet, right? A prophet is one that say before. He speaks on behalf of the Most High before things come to pass. Meaning the Most High sends the men, his men, to go out and speak for him. And to tell the people, tell the nations what's going to go down before it go down. Alright? Not psychics, but prophets. Just means to say before. That's it. 
It's not, it's not, uh, you know, something deep, you know? Anyway, um, let me get this scripture here real quick because I was thinking about it. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account for his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had some time in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the saints? Therefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us. And the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We weary ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. Now, yes, this applies to these Edomites. But this applies to even two thirds of Jake that don't believe. You know, that you think we're a joke. You know, you think, you know, we just something to uh, punch on, you know, and laugh at. Yeah, we're the Oscar, as the scriptures say, of the streets, you know, and you call us the radicals and this and that. Oh, you don't like what we teach is hatred. No, it's truth. We don't teach hate. We teach truth. OK, but that day is going to come when you're going to realize that these men were the men. All right. Matter of fact, scriptures say, then you shall know that there was a prophet among you, which I'm going to say prophets with an S because you see you see us. Whether in the street, in your downtown area, oh, those are the Israelites. You see us on the unicorn, which is the internet of things. You go past the videos, you leave your little dirty, nasty comments. You laugh, all right? Or even you study and then you twist what we say, you know, to make your own content. But that day is going to come, man. So anyway, let me continue. Let me go back into this video. Um, let, let me get my scripture back though That I had in the book of Psalms 10 Bear with me Okay So like I said I wanted to uh, Get uh, Back in Psalms 10 real quick And uh, 10 and 2 The wicked in his pride do have persecute the poor Let them be taken into the vices That they have imagined For the wicked boasts of his heart desire and blesses the covetants whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked through the pride of his continence will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thou judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. All right. And that's Edom. You know, all his enemies, he puffeth at them because he always has a plan. All right. He has a plan E. All right. You know how they say you got a plan A, plan B. Well, Esau has a plan E, A, B, C, D, E. OK, that's why he puffed at his enemies, because they all come to one consent and everything is controlled. All right. They have a bunch of psyops theater, but things play out in reality. So it makes it real. All right. Remember the key. Um, Let me say, remember, keep in mind the whole. Uh, let me, uh, how can I say this? Just keep in mind control. All right. They want control, more control than you think. All right. Control enough that they can be inside your body. That's why the scriptures say they want to sit in the temple of the most high and be as though they is the most high. All right. So let me play some more of this video. So like you. In the next coming days, weeks, hours, how this all is going to go. This is uh, some of the stores have, I haven't been to the store today, so I'm going to just ask y'all, um, what are you seeing in the stores, in the comment section? What are you seeing? Have you seen this happen? And what we did, we seen that scenes from Air Force in Atlanta, Virginia, Singapore, Malaysia, out the global crowd strike outage. We were just telling y'all, we was like, look, after the Trump scenario, what they got to do next is they got to hit us with cyber. Why do we say that? because we looked in the RAND documents 
and they had just released it talking about how it's going to be a cascading effect how we're just going to start seeing these cascading effects happening it was going to be either simultaneously hey, or it was going to be that sound like the birth pains you know that sound like the con continued trouble all right continued trouble i believe the word um pestilence if i'm not mistaken pestilence means sickness disease of course bubonic plague but also means continue trouble. So the Lord have sent forth peasants. Is that right? Yeah, I believe that's right. Okay. Not the word peasants. I believe. Let me look it up real quick. So like you just want to be accurate. You know, we like to be accurate here. Peasants meaning. Pezzalance meaning. Pezzalance meaning. According to vocabulary.com, pestilence means a deadly and overwhelming disease that affects an entire community. The Black Plague, a disease that killed over 30% of Europe's population, was certainly a pestilence. Or is it plague? Plague meaning. Plague meaning Okay, so Salakia, let me correct myself. It's not pestilence. Here's the definition of plague. A contagious bacterial disease characterized by fever and delirium, typically with the formation of buboes, bubonic plague, and sometimes infection of the lungs, pneumonic plague. Alright, so Salakia, let me correct myself. It wasn't pestilence, it was the word plague. So you just heard Google plague, right? Plague, a contagious bacteria disease characterized by a fever or delirium, typically with the formation of bubos, bubonic plague, and something infectious, something infection of the lungs, right? Like uh, pneumonia, plague, right? But it also says cause continued trouble or distress to. And we know the scriptures say the Lord sent forth the plagues, all right? So this is what it sounds like. That's what I was thinking about. I, I said the word pestilence. I meant to say plague. All right. So that's why it's good to just look up things. Right. So let's continue. At the back, once again, you. this is just like Cyber Polygon. You do get that. So not only is it funded by BlackRock, this is WF World Economic Forum scenarios. Like Cyber Polygon, Ray Inverter Rook War Game warns a cash trotter. Catastro uh, catastrophic attacks leading to societal breakdown. Same scenario, and then it goes into say the uh, financial sector and stuff like that going to be disrupted. Uh, now, now another thing we're going to be looking for is just the water supply to be poisoned because that's another thing that they're basically going to start to initiate. When is that going to happen? That's going to be something we're going to be highly watching and monitoring. So you want to stick around and stay around for that. Twelve-hour time lapse of America. Airlines, Delta, and United plane traffic after what was likely the biggest IT outage in history. It forced a nationwide ground stop of three airlines. And then what I'm hearing at the airlines, what's happening is it's taking so long. They're printing out paper. Uh, they're printing out, printing out the paper like, uh, you know, boarding tickets. So they're not letting it, you know, print from online or nothing like that. It's like going back to the old school days. And it's about two over 2,000 flights been grounded uh, and delayed on top of that. So somebody says in here, title, chaos, not chaos. I'll change that after it's over. I did screw that up. I put chaos, chaos. Okay. All right. Um, that's basically it. You know, let me uh, close up this lesson. Let me say also, too, for you brothers that, uh, you know, just new coming around, you're trying to find news. You know, I watch, you know, this guy from time to time and I watch other people, 
You don't want to go off one person's narrative. You know, you're just taking the information. All right. Our foundation is the scriptures. We believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which means you have to trust the process. All right. We at the end of this devil's kingdom. So he thinks that he's going to regulate and control and bring us into this fourth industrial revolution. But instead, the Lord is going to upset this devil. All right. Now, let me read you a scripture to prove that, which, you know, let's go to the book of Job. Right. Job 5 and 12. Let me start at verse 8. It says, I will seek unto Yahweh and unto Yahweh would, would I commit my cause, which doeth great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number, who giveth rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the fields to set up on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exhorted to safety. He disappointeth the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. All right, meaning their NWO. All right, it says, which NWO stands for New World Order. It says, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. That's your Bahamian Grove meetings. All right, their summit meetings, right? We read Psalms 83, they consent together. So let me read that again. It says, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. So the poor have hope and iniquity stoppeth her mouth. Behold, happy is the man whom the most high, the most high corrective, therefore despise not the chastening of the almighty. Right. So this is why it's important to pray, man. And like I said, this is just one news source. Watch, you know, other news as well to get a roundabout of what's going down. At the end of the day, fuck Edom and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to continue to, uh, you know, bring forth these prophecies to come to pass. All right. Prophecy will come to pass. These things like this leads to the best, the next prophecy, which is Jacob's trouble. All right. Because when you think about it, the light's going out. You know, no food, no clean water. You know, this is the times the Lord talk about. See, he ain't going to have control over everything the way he thinks. The Most High is going to step in. All right. Divine intervention. The Lord coming in between. Things ain't going to work out in his favor. We just read Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So, you know, with that, I hope you were edified, you know. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha, Kodash, double honors to my apostles and elders here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.